Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be exploring the threats of technology on fertility. With the rapid advancements in technology, it has become a ubiquitous part of our lives. However, recent studies have shown that technology may have a negative impact on our ability to conceive and have children. In this video, we'll be discussing the various ways in which technology is affecting fertility, as well as other environmental factors that can impact fertility, and what we can do to mitigate these effects. One of the biggest threats of technology on fertility is the exposure to electromagnetic radiation. This type of radiation is emitted by electronic devices such as smartphones, laptops, and other electronic devices. Studies have shown that prolonged exposure to this type of radiation can negatively impact sperm count, motility, and viability, making it more difficult to conceive. Another threat of technology on fertility is the impact on sleep. With the prevalence of digital devices, many of us are staying up late, scrolling through social media, or watching videos. However, sleep deprivation can have a negative impact on our ability to conceive. Studies have shown that men who get less than 7 hours of sleep per night have a lower sperm count and reduced fertility. In addition to sleep deprivation, technology can also cause stress. Whether it's due to work demands, social media, or the constant barrage of news and information, technology has a way of causing stress and anxiety. This stress can impact our ability to conceive, as it can disrupt our menstrual cycle and negatively impact fertility. In addition to technology, there are other environmental factors that can impact fertility. For example, the use of fertilizers, pesticides, and other chemicals in agriculture can lead to the contamination of our food and water supply. These toxins can have a negative impact on our hormonal balance, leading to infertility. Another important factor in fertility is diet. A diet that is high in processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats can negatively impact fertility by causing hormonal imbalances and increasing inflammation. On the other hand, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats can support fertility and improve the chances of conceiving. If we continue to expose ourselves and future generations to technology and environmental toxins, the negative impact on fertility could become even more pronounced. Studies have shown that the negative effects on fertility can be passed down from one generation to the next, leading to decreased fertility and an increased risk of infertility in future generations. The decrease in fertility could have far-reaching consequences for society as a whole. A lower birth rate could lead to an aging population, putting a strain on social programs and healthcare systems. Additionally, a decrease in fertility could lead to a smaller workforce, making it more difficult for countries to maintain their economic competitiveness. It's clear that we need to take action to protect our fertility and the fertility of future generations. However, the first step is becoming aware of the impact that technology and other environmental factors can have on fertility, and taking steps to reduce our exposure to these threats. So, what can we do to mitigate the impact of technology and other environmental factors on fertility? Here are a few recommendations. Limit your exposure to electromagnetic radiation by using devices less frequently, or using protective cases that reduce radiation exposure. Get enough sleep by setting a bedtime and sticking to it, and avoiding screens for at least an hour before bedtime. Manage stress through activities such as exercise, meditation, or therapy. Consider taking a break from technology altogether by taking a digital detox or going on a technology-free vacation. Eat a healthy and balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats. Limit your exposure to environmental toxins by choosing organic foods, filtering your water, and using natural cleaning products. The threats of technology and environmental toxins on fertility not only have physical consequences, but also emotional ones. Infertility can be a devastating experience, causing stress, anxiety, and depression for couples trying to start a family. 
In a world where having children is often seen as a symbol of success and fulfillment, the loss of that ability can be devastating. However, by taking steps to protect our fertility and the fertility of future generations, we can help ensure a brighter and healthier future. This may involve reducing our exposure to technology and environmental toxins, changing our diets, and making changes in the way we produce and consume goods. It's time for us to take action, to protect our fertility and ensure a bright future for ourselves and future generations. By taking care of ourselves and the planet, we can help ensure that the experience of starting a family remains a joyous one, and that the ability to have children remains a right, not a privilege. Thank you for watching this video on the threats of technology and environmental toxins on fertility. We hope that this video has raised awareness about these important issues and inspired you to take action to protect your own fertility and the fertility of future generations. If you found this video informative and helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on technology, health, and the environment. And remember, together we can make a difference. Thank you. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video on the psychology of technology addiction. In this video, we will explore what technology addiction is, why it occurs, the impact it has on our lives, and what we can do to overcome it. So, let's get started. What is technology addiction? Technology addiction refers to an excessive and compulsive use of digital devices and technology that interferes with daily life activities. It can manifest in various forms such as gaming addiction, social media addiction, or internet addiction. Some of the symptoms of technology addiction include neglect of personal hygiene, loss of interest in other activities, decreased social interaction, and lack of sleep. Why does technology addiction occur? Technology addiction occurs due to the psychological rewards associated with technology use. For example, when we receive a like or a positive comment on social media, our brain releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. This reward reinforces the behavior and makes us want to use technology more, leading to addiction. Let us look at some examples and impacts of technology addiction. Reduced productivity and focus. One usually checks his phone while at work, which distracts him from his tasks and reduces his overall productivity. This is a common effect of technology addiction, as it can be difficult to focus on work or other important tasks when constantly interrupted by notifications and social media updates. Poor sleep quality. We have developed the habit of using phone late into the night, which can disrupt his sleep patterns and lead to poor sleep quality. This is a common effect of technology addiction, as the blue light emitted by screens can interfere with the body's natural sleep cycle. Social isolation. While on social events, people can get frustrated and express he is always on his phone, even during social events. This can lead to feelings of social isolation, as addiction to technology can prevent individuals from fully engaging with others in person. Physical health problems. We have started experiencing physical discomfort from constantly using his phone, including neck and shoulder pain. This is a common effect of technology addiction, as prolonged use of screens can lead to a range of physical health problems, including eye strain, headaches, and back pain. Mental health problems. Technology is also leading to experiencing feelings of anxiety and stress, which can be exacerbated by addiction to technology. This is a common effect of technology addiction, as constantly being connected to the digital world can lead to feelings of overwhelm and burnout. Overall, it's clear that technology addiction can have a wide range of negative effects, both on an individual level and on a societal level. It's important for individuals to be aware of the risks of technology addiction and to take steps to prevent it from taking over their lives. There are some threats associated with technology addiction. For example, addiction to technology can lead to a lack of privacy and security. The use of technology can also lead to identity theft and other forms of cybercrime. In addition, technology addiction can lead to a lack of critical thinking skills and decision-making abilities. In conclusion, technology addiction is a growing problem that poses significant risks to our society and the future of our world. From the negative impact on mental and physical health to the erosion of critical skills, the consequences of excessive technology use are clear. If we don't take action to address this issue, we risk creating a world where people are more disconnected from one another, less able to think critically, and less able to solve complex problems. This is not the kind of world we want to leave for future generations. However, it's not too late to make a change. 
by taking steps to limit our technology use, engage in healthy habits, and prioritize face-to-face -face communication and human connection, we can start to reverse the negative effects of technology addiction. Ultimately, the choice is ours. We can continue down the path of unchecked technology addiction, or we can make a conscious effort to create a better future for ourselves and those who come after us. The choice is clear. Thanks for watching. By liking, sharing, and commenting on our videos, you help us reach more people and continue to create content that's both informative and engaging. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our latest uploads. Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss if technology and food are evolving faster than the human body. With the rapid advancement in technology and the food industry, it's important to understand how it affects our bodies. Body Technology the advancement in technology has brought us various gadgets that we use on a daily basis. However, these devices emit blue light which disrupts our sleep patterns and causes eye strain. Our body is not designed to handle this constant exposure to technology. Food The food industry has brought us convenience in terms of processed and prepackaged foods, but they often contain artificial ingredients and preservatives that our body may not be able to process. This can lead to various health issues such as obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. Evolution Evolution is a slow process that takes thousands of years. The human body has not had enough time to adapt to the changes in technology and food. Examples Smartphones The average person spends 7 hours a day on their smartphone. This constant exposure to blue light can lead to disrupted sleep patterns and eye strain. Processed foods Processed foods contain high amounts of sugar, salt, and artificial ingredients that our body may not be able to process. This can lead to obesity and other health issues. In conclusion, technology and food are evolving faster than the human body, and it's important to be aware of the impact it has on our health. By limiting our screen time and consuming a balanced diet, we can help our bodies to better adapt to the changes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please comment if you want part 2 of this series. Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be discussing the impact of technology on creativity and original thought. With the rapid advancement of technology, it's more important than ever to consider the potential consequences of this trend. So, let's dive in and explore the question, is technology killing creativity and original thought? Technology has had a profound impact on the way we think, learn, and create. With the internet, smartphones, and a plethora of digital tools, we have access to a wealth of information and resources at our fingertips. But this constant exposure to technology can also have negative effects on our creativity and original thought. One of the biggest challenges is the sheer amount of information we're exposed to on a daily basis. With social media, websites, and an endless stream of news and information, our brains are bombarded with stimuli from every direction. This can lead to a lack of focus and creativity, as our minds struggle to keep up with the constant barrage of information. Another issue is that technology often provides us with ready-made solutions to problems, rather than encouraging us to come up with our own ideas. For example, Consider the use of pre-made templates and designs in graphic design software. This can limit our potential for truly innovative ideas and lead to a lack of originality in our work. It's also important to consider the way that technology has changed the way we consume information and media. With the rise of social media, we're exposed to a constant stream of curated content that may not necessarily reflect our own experiences or perspectives. This can lead to a homogenization of ideas and a lack of original thought, as we're constantly exposed to the same information and perspectives. In addition to the impact on creativity, technology can also have a negative effect on original thought. This is because technology often relies on algorithms and pre-existing data to make decisions, rather than encouraging us to think critically and come up with our own ideas. Consider the increasing use of AI in decision-making processes, such as in hiring or lending decisions. While technology may be able to process vast amounts of data quickly, it may not always take into account unique human experiences and perspectives. This can lead to a lack of empathy and emotional intelligence, as we become more reliant on technology to make decisions for us. Furthermore, technology has the potential to create a sense of disconnection and isolation, as we spend more time interacting with screens and less time connecting with others in person. This can lead to a lack of empathy and emotional intelligence, as we struggle to understand and connect with others on a deep level. Let's take a look at a few real-world examples of how technology has impacted creativity and original thought. First, consider the rise of autotune technology in the music industry. While autotune can be a useful tool for correcting pitch and enhancing performances, it has also led to a homogenization of sound in popular music. 
Many musicians now rely on autotune to create their recordings, rather than relying on their own vocal talent and creativity. Another example is the increasing use of pre-made templates in website design. With platforms like Wix and Squarespace, it's easier than ever to create a website, but it can also lead to a lack of originality and uniqueness in the design process. Many websites now look similar, as they all use the same templates and designs. In the field of journalism, the rise of algorithms and automated reporting has led to a decrease in original reporting and investigative journalism. Rather than relying on human journalists to uncover and report on stories, algorithms are now being used to generate news articles based on pre-existing data. This can lead to a lack of original thought and a decrease in the quality of journalism. So, what can we do to balance the positive and negative effects of technology on creativity and original thought? Here are a few suggestions. First, it's important to be mindful of our technology usage and make an effort to disconnect from screens and spend time in nature or engaging in creative activities. This can help to boost our creativity and originality. Second, we can use technology to our advantage by seeking out diverse perspectives and sources of information. This can help to broaden our perspectives and encourage original thought. Third, we can make a conscious effort to think critically about the information and ideas we're exposed to, and not just accept everything at face value. This can help us to avoid becoming overly influenced by technology and maintain our ability to think for ourselves. Another area where technology has had a significant impact is education. With the rise of online learning and educational technology, students are now able to access a vast array of information and resources from anywhere in the world. This has greatly expanded access to education and knowledge, but it has also had some unintended consequences. One issue is that students are now often exposed to a huge amount of information, much of which is low quality or even outright false. This can lead to students becoming overwhelmed and struggling to distinguish between credible sources and unreliable information. Additionally, the reliance on technology in education can sometimes result in a lack of hands-on, experiential learning. Students who rely too heavily on technology may struggle to think creatively and critically, as they are not engaging with the world in a hands-on way. In a world that is increasingly dominated by technology, the role of art and creativity has become even more important. Art has the ability to challenge our assumptions, provoke thought, and inspire change. In a technological world, art can serve as a counterbalance, reminding us of the value of creativity and original thought. However, technology has also had an impact on the world of art. With the rise of digital media and computer-generated art, some argue that the authenticity and value of traditional art forms is being diminished. While digital art has its own unique beauty and value, it's important to recognize and appreciate the role that traditional art forms play in shaping our cultural identity. In conclusion, technology has had a profound impact on our ability to think creatively and original. While technology has brought many benefits, it's important to be mindful of the ways in which it can also limit our ability to think for ourselves and to engage with the world in a creative, hands-on way. By being aware of the potential downsides of technology, and by balancing our use of technology with other forms of learning and creative expression, we can continue to develop and nurture our creativity and originality. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video informative and thought-provoking. If you have any thoughts or opinions on the topic, feel free to leave a comment below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this in the future. In today's video, we are going to talk about a topic that has become a significant issue in our lives, the notifications trap. We live in a world where we are constantly bombarded with notifications and alerts from our smartphones, tablets, and other devices. These distractions are disrupting our focus, productivity, and even our relationships. In this video, we will explore the impact of notifications, how they affect our productivity, and what we can do to break free from the notifications trap. Examples of the notifications trap, we all experience the notifications trap. It's the urge to check our phones whenever we hear a notification sound, no matter how important the notification is. We often check our phones even when we're in the middle of a task or conversation. Let's consider an example, you are working on an important project, and suddenly, a notification pops up on your phone. You check it, and it's just a random message from a friend. That notification can easily distract you from the task at hand, and it takes a few minutes to get back to the work. That small distraction can have a significant impact on our productivity and the quality of our work. Impact of notifications. The notifications trap has a severe impact on our productivity and focus. It's like a drug that makes us crave for more. Notifications often create a false sense of urgency, leading us to believe that we need to check them immediately. This, in turn, leads to a significant loss of time and productivity, causing stress and anxiety. 
research has shown that it can take up to 25 minutes to regain our focus after a single distraction. This means that if we check our phone every time a notification pops up, we could be losing hours of productivity every day. In addition to productivity, notifications can also have an impact on our mental health. Constant notifications can lead to addiction, which can cause an increase in mental health issues such as anxiety and depression. A study found that individuals who received more notifications on their phone had higher levels of anxiety and lower levels of well-being. Notifications can also affect our relationships. When we're constantly checking our phones, we're not present in the moment, and this can lead to a lack of connection with the people around us. We might miss out on important conversations or even come across as disinterested or rude. Solutions to the notifications trap. There are some practical solutions to break free from the notifications trap. The first step is to turn off unnecessary notifications. For instance, do you really need to get notifications from all your social media accounts? Another solution is to turn on the do not disturb mode on your device. This mode will block all notifications, allowing you to focus on your work or conversation. Finally, it's essential to set boundaries and limit the amount of time we spend on our phones. You can set a specific time to check your notifications, like during your break times or after work hours. It's also important to note that some apps and devices have features that can help manage notifications. For example, on iPhones, you can customize your notifications for each app, and set focus mode to avoid distractions during work hours. Threats and risks to the future The notifications trap has some serious threats and risks to the future. For instance, it can affect our ability to think creatively and innovatively. When we're constantly distracted by notifications, we're not giving ourselves the time and space to think deeply and critically about problems or ideas. This can have a significant impact on our work and overall quality of life. Additionally, the notifications trap can also have long-term effects on our physical and mental health. Studies have shown that exposure to blue light from electronic devices can disrupt our sleep patterns, leading to insomnia and other sleep-related problems. It's essential to create a healthy balance between the use of technology and our physical and mental health. To conclude, the notifications trap is a real problem that affects us all. We are constantly connected to our devices, and it's becoming increasingly difficult to break free from the notifications trap. It's essential to recognize the impact of notifications on our productivity, mental health, and relationships. By turning off unnecessary notifications, setting boundaries, and using device features to manage our notifications, we can regain control of our time and focus on the things that matter most. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more informative content. Also, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on the notifications trap. Remember to take control of your notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to delve deeper into the topic of how technology addiction is robbing us of restful sleep. We'll explore the causes, effects, problems, solutions, and future of this issue in more detail. With technology becoming more prevalent in our daily lives, it's important that we take steps to ensure that our use of digital devices does not disrupt our sleep patterns. Section 1. The Causes of Technology Addiction As we all know, technology has become an integral part of our daily lives. It has transformed the way we communicate, work, and relax. However, this constant connectivity can also lead to addiction. There are several factors that contribute to technology addiction, including Social media addiction, the dopamine hit we receive when we see a like or a comment on our posts can be addictive. The constant need for validation on social media platforms can cause us to stay up late, scrolling through our feeds. FOMO, fear of missing out, FOMO is a common feeling that can cause us to stay up late to keep up with the latest news, trends, or gossip. Work-related stress, with the advent of mobile technology, work has become more accessible than ever. This means that we may find ourselves answering work emails late into the night, leading to disrupted sleep patterns. Binge-watching, streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime have made it easier than ever to binge-watch our favorite shows. However, this can lead to staying up late and disrupting our sleep. Section 2. The Effects of Technology Addiction on Sleep The negative effects of technology addiction on sleep cannot be understated. They include Disrupted sleep patterns Exposure to blue light emitted by digital devices can suppress the production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates our sleep-wake cycle. This can lead to difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. Poor sleep quality The constant stimulation from digital devices can lead to poor sleep quality. This can cause daytime fatigue, irritability, and poor concentration. Mental health problems, 
lack of sleep can cause or exacerbate mental health problems, such as anxiety and depression. Physical health problems, poor sleep can also lead to physical health problems, such as obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Section 3, The Problems with Technology Addiction. One of the biggest problems with technology addiction is that it can create a vicious cycle of poor sleep, leading to more technology usage, leading to even poorer sleep. Additionally, technology addiction can lead to other problems, including reduced productivity, lack of sleep can lead to reduced productivity at work or school. Relationship problems, technology addiction can also cause relationship problems, such as neglecting time spent with loved ones. Safety concerns, lack of sleep can also impact our safety, such as driving while drowsy. Section 4, the solutions to combat technology addiction and improve sleep quality. There are several solutions to combat technology addiction and improve our sleep quality. Here are a few. Establishing boundaries, setting boundaries for technology usage, like limiting screen time before bed or creating device-free zones in the house, can be beneficial. Practicing good sleep hygiene, creating a relaxing bedtime routine, avoiding caffeine and alcohol, and keeping a consistent sleep schedule can help improve sleep quality. Using blue light blocking glasses or enabling night mode on your devices, this can reduce the impact of screen time on melatonin production. Mindfulness meditation, practicing mindfulness meditation can help reduce stress and promote relaxation. Section 5, the future of technology and sleep. As technology continues to advance we can expect to see new solutions to combat technology addiction and improve sleep quality. Some potential developments include Wearable technology, wearable devices like smartwatches and fitness trackers can monitor sleep patterns and provide personalized recommendations for improving sleep quality. App-based solutions, there are already several apps available that can help improve sleep quality by monitoring sleep patterns, providing relaxation techniques, and even playing soothing sounds. Increased awareness, as more research is conducted on the negative effects of technology addiction on sleep, there will be increased awareness and education on the importance of maintaining healthy sleep habits. Technology advancements, technology is also advancing to reduce the impact of blue light on sleep patterns, such as by developing screens that emit less blue light or automatically adjust the screen brightness based on the time of day. Conclusion, in conclusion, technology addiction is a growing problem that is robbing us of restful sleep. The negative effects on our physical and mental health, productivity, and relationships cannot be ignored. However, there are solutions available to combat technology addiction and improve sleep quality, such as establishing boundaries, practicing good sleep hygiene, using blue light blocking glasses or enabling night mode on devices, and mindfulness meditation. As technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see new solutions to this problem. It's important that we prioritize our sleep and take steps to ensure that technology does not disrupt our restful slumber. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hello, and welcome to this video on modern diseases, the unseen consequence of technology on our bodies and minds. Technology has become an integral part of our daily lives, from smartphones to laptops to smart homes, and everything in between. While technology has made our lives easier and more convenient, it's also had some unintended consequences on our health. In this video, we'll explore some of the modern diseases that are arising as a result of our reliance on technology, along with factors contributing to these conditions, detection methods, solutions, and long-term effects on our health. Body, let's start by looking at some examples of modern diseases that are linked to technology. Digital eye strain, spending prolonged periods of time staring at a screen can lead to digital eye strain, which causes discomfort, dryness, and blurry vision. This condition is also known as computer vision syndrome. Insomnia, exposure to the blue light emitted from our devices can disrupt our sleep-wake cycle and make it harder to fall asleep. The blue light suppresses the production of melatonin, which is the hormone that regulates our sleep-wake cycle. Text neck, constantly looking down at our phones can cause strain on our neck, leading to neck pain and headaches. This condition is also known as tech neck or smartphone neck. Carpal tunnel syndrome, Repetitive motions like typing and scrolling can lead to carpal tunnel syndrome, which causes pain and numbness in the hands and wrists. This condition occurs when the median nerve, which runs from the forearm to the hand, is compressed at the wrist. Anxiety and depression, studies have found that excessive use of social media and technology can lead to increased feelings of anxiety and depression. This may be due to the social isolation that can result from spending too much time on our devices, as well as the constant barrage of negative news and information that we are exposed to. Factors contributing to these conditions. There are several factors that contribute to these conditions. 
One of the main factors is the blue light emitted by our devices. This blue light can disrupt our circadian rhythms, which can lead to sleep disturbances and other health problems. Another factor is the sedentary lifestyle that often accompanies our use of technology. Sitting for prolonged periods of time can increase the risk of obesity, heart disease, and other health conditions. Detection methods, digital eye strain can be detected by experiencing symptoms such as blurred vision, dry eyes, and headaches. Insomnia can be detected by experiencing difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep, as well as daytime fatigue. Hex neck and carpal tunnel syndrome can be detected by experiencing pain and numbness in the neck and hands, respectively. Anxiety and depression can be detected by experiencing persistent feelings of sadness or anxiety, as well as changes in appetite or sleep patterns. Solutions, here are some solutions to mitigate these health risks. Take regular breaks, it's important to take regular breaks when using technology. Set a timer to remind yourself to take a break every 20 to 30 minutes and look away from your screen. Adjust your screen settings, adjusting the brightness and color temperature of your screen can help reduce digital eye strain and improve sleep quality. Maintain good posture, practice good posture by sitting up straight and holding your phone or device at eye level to avoid straining your neck. Use ergonomic accessories, using ergonomic keyboards, mice, and wrist rests can help reduce the risk of carpal tunnel syndrome. Limit screen time, try to limit your screen time, especially before bedtime. Put away your phone or other devices at least an hour before you plan to sleep. Practice mindfulness. Practicing mindfulness can help reduce feelings of anxiety and depression that can result from excessive use of technology. Try to engage in activities that don't involve screens, such as meditation or yoga. Exercise regularly. Regular exercise can help combat the sedentary lifestyle that often accompanies our use of technology. Try to engage in moderate exercise for at least 30 minutes a day, such as walking, running, or cycling. Seek professional help. If you're experiencing persistent symptoms, it's important to seek professional help. Talk to your doctor or a mental health professional to discuss your symptoms and develop a treatment plan. Long-term effects on our health. The long-term effects of these modern diseases on our health are still being studied, but they are expected to have serious implications. For example, digital eye strain may lead to myopia or nearsightedness, which is a condition that can worsen over time. Insomnia has been linked to a range of health problems, including obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Hex neck can lead to chronic neck pain and spinal degeneration. Carpal tunnel syndrome can cause permanent nerve damage if left untreated. Anxiety and depression can have a range of physical and mental health consequences, including chronic pain, substance abuse, and suicide. Conclusion In conclusion, technology has had some unintended consequences on our health including the emergence of modern diseases. While it's difficult to avoid technology altogether, there are steps we can take to mitigate these health risks. By taking regular breaks, adjusting our screen settings, maintaining good posture, using ergonomic accessories, limiting screen time, practicing mindfulness, exercising regularly, and seeking professional help when necessary, we can minimize the impact of technology on our bodies and minds. It's important to be aware of the potential long-term effects of these modern diseases and take steps to prevent them. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Advancements in natural language processing, chatbots have become increasingly sophisticated and capable of handling complex tasks. This has led to a growing concern among some experts that chatbots could replace human workers in many industries. In this video, we'll explore the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce. We'll examine the causes of this issue, its effects, and the potential solutions. Section 2. Causes of the Battle for Jobs There are several causes of the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce. One of the most significant is the increasing sophistication of chatbots. With natural language processing, chatbots can now handle complex tasks, such as customer service inquiries, that were previously only possible for humans. This has led many companies to adopt chatbots in place of human workers, in order to save costs and increase efficiency. Another cause of the battle for jobs is the increasing demand for automation. Many industries are looking for ways to automate their processes in order to reduce costs and increase productivity. This has led to the development of new technologies that can automate a wide range of tasks, from manufacturing to customer service. Finally, the rise of remote work has also contributed to the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce. With more people working from home, there is less of a need for physical offices and traditional work environments. 
This has made it easier for companies to adopt chatbots and other forms of automation, as they no longer need to worry about providing a physical workspace for their employees. Section 3. Effects of the Battle for Jobs The battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce has several significant effects. One of the most obvious is the potential loss of jobs for human workers. As chatbots and other forms of automation become more prevalent, many workers could find themselves out of a job. This could lead to higher unemployment rates and increased economic inequality. Another effect of the battle for jobs is the potential loss of skills and expertise. Many jobs require specialized knowledge and experience that can only be gained through years of practice. If these jobs are replaced by chatbots and automation, there is a risk that these skills could be lost over time. This could have negative consequences for industries that rely on specialized expertise, such as healthcare and engineering. Finally, the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce could have a significant impact on the economy as a whole. If chatbots and automation replace large numbers of human workers, there could be a decrease in consumer spending and a slowdown in economic growth. Section 4. Examples of chatbots replacing human workers there are already many examples of chatbots and other forms of automation replacing human workers in various industries. One of the most well-known examples is the use of self-checkout machines in grocery stores. These machines can handle many of the tasks that were previously done by human cashiers, such as scanning items and processing payments. Another example is the use of chatbots in customer service. Many companies are now using chatbots to handle customer inquiries and support, which means that they need fewer human customer service representatives. This has led to significant cost savings for these companies, but it has also led to job losses for human workers. In the healthcare industry, chatbots are being used to provide basic medical advice and support to patients. While these chatbots cannot replace human doctors and nurses, they can help to alleviate the burden on healthcare professionals by handling routine tasks such as scheduling appointments and answering general questions. In the transportation industry, self-driving cars and trucks are becoming increasingly common. These vehicles use advanced AI systems to navigate roads and make decisions, which could eventually lead to the displacement of many human drivers. These are just a few examples of how chatbots and automation are already impacting the workforce. As these technologies continue to advance, we can expect to see even more examples of chatbots replacing human workers in various industries. Section 5. Solutions to the Battle for Jobs While the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce may seem like an inevitable outcome of technological progress, there are several potential solutions that could help to mitigate its negative effects. One solution is to focus on retraining and upskilling workers. As jobs become more automated, there will be a growing need for workers with specialized technical skills. By investing in training programs and other forms of education, we can help to ensure that workers are equipped with the skills they need to thrive in a more automated workforce. Another solution is to promote the development of new industries and job opportunities. While automation may lead to job losses in some industries, it could also create new opportunities in others. By investing in emerging industries such as renewable energy and healthcare technology, we can help to create new job opportunities for workers. A third solution is to implement policies that promote economic stability and reduce income inequality. This could include measures such as a universal basic income or a progressive tax system, which would help to ensure that all workers have access to basic resources and a decent standard of living, regardless of their employment status. Finally, it is important to continue to monitor the impact of chatbots and automation on the workforce, and to take steps to mitigate their negative effects as they become apparent. This could involve measures such as regulation of automation in certain industries or the provision of unemployment benefits and other forms of social support for displaced workers. Section 6. Conclusion The battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce is a complex issue that will continue to have significant impacts on the economy and society as a whole. While chatbots and automation offer many benefits in terms of efficiency and cost savings, it is important to consider their potential impact on human workers and to take steps to mitigate their negative effects. By focusing on retraining and upskilling workers, promoting the development of new industries and job opportunities, and implementing policies that promote economic stability and reduce income inequality, we can help to ensure that the benefits of automation are shared equitably and that the workforce remains strong and resilient in the face of technological change. Thank you for watching this video on the battle for jobs, chat GPT versus the human workforce. We hope that you found this discussion informative and thought-provoking. As we move forward into an increasingly automated world, 
it is important to continue to consider the impacts of chatbots and other forms of automation on the workforce, and to take steps to mitigate their negative effects. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos on the latest trends and developments in technology. Thank you again for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Advancements in natural language processing, chatbots have become increasingly sophisticated and capable of handling complex tasks. This has led to a growing concern among some experts that chatbots could replace human workers in many industries. In this video, we'll explore the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce. We'll examine the causes of this issue, its effects, and the potential solutions. Section 2, Causes of the Battle for Jobs There are several causes of the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce. One of the most significant is the increasing sophistication of chatbots. With natural language processing, chatbots can now handle complex tasks, such as customer service inquiries, that were previously only possible for humans. This has led many companies to adopt chatbots in place of human workers, in order to save costs and increase efficiency. Another cause of the battle for jobs is the increasing demand for automation. Many industries are looking for ways to automate their processes in order to reduce costs and increase productivity. This has led to the development of new technologies that can automate a wide range of tasks, from manufacturing to customer service. Finally, the rise of remote work has also contributed to the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce. With more people working from home, there is less of a need for physical offices and traditional work environments. This has made it easier for companies to adopt chatbots and other forms of automation, as they no longer need to worry about providing a physical workspace for their employees. Section 3. Effects of the battle for jobs the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce has several significant effects. One of the most obvious is the potential loss of jobs for human workers. As chatbots and other forms of automation become more prevalent, many workers could find themselves out of a job. This could lead to higher unemployment rates and increased economic inequality. Another effect of the battle for jobs is the potential loss of skills and expertise. Many jobs require specialized knowledge and experience that can only be gained through years of practice. If these jobs are replaced by chatbots and automation, there is a risk that these skills could be lost over time. This could have negative consequences for industries that rely on specialized expertise, such as healthcare and engineering. Finally, the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce could have a significant impact on the economy as a whole. If chatbots and automation replace large numbers of human workers, there could be a decrease in consumer spending and a slowdown in economic growth. Section 4. Examples of Chatbots Replacing Human Workers There are already many examples of chatbots and other forms of automation replacing human workers in various industries. One of the most well-known examples is the use of self-checkout machines in grocery stores. These machines can handle many of the tasks that were previously done by human cashiers, such as scanning items and processing payments. Another example is the use of chatbots in customer service. Many companies are now using chatbots to handle customer inquiries and support, which means that they need fewer human customer service representatives. This has led to significant cost savings for these companies, but it has also led to job losses for human workers. In the healthcare industry, chatbots are being used to provide basic medical advice and support to patients. While these chatbots cannot replace human doctors and nurses, they can help to alleviate the burden on healthcare professionals by handling routine tasks such as scheduling appointments and answering general questions. In the transportation industry, self-driving cars and trucks are becoming increasingly common. These vehicles use advanced AI systems to navigate roads and make decisions, which could eventually lead to the displacement of many human drivers. These are just a few examples of how chatbots and automation are already impacting the workforce. As these technologies continue to advance, we can expect to see even more examples of chatbots replacing human workers in various industries. Section 5. Solutions to the Battle for Jobs While the battle for jobs between ChatGPT and the human workforce may seem like an inevitable outcome of technological progress, there are several potential solutions that could help to mitigate its negative effects. One solution is to focus on retraining and upskilling workers. As jobs become more automated, there will be a growing need for workers with specialized technical skills. By investing in training programs and other forms of education, we can help to ensure that workers are equipped with the skills they need to thrive in a more automated workforce. Another solution is to promote the development of new industries and job opportunities. 
While automation may lead to job losses in some industries, it could also create new opportunities in others. By investing in emerging industries such as renewable energy and healthcare technology, we can help to create new job opportunities for workers. A third solution is to implement policies that promote economic stability and reduce income inequality. This could include measures such as a universal basic income or a progressive tax system, which would help to ensure that all workers have access to basic resources and a decent standard of living, regardless of their employment status. Finally, it is important to continue to monitor the impact of chatbots and automation on the workforce, and to take steps to mitigate their negative effects as they become apparent. This could involve measures such as regulation of automation in certain industries or the provision of unemployment benefits and other forms of social support for displaced workers. Section 6. Conclusion The battle for jobs between chat GPT and the human workforce is a complex issue that will continue to have significant impacts on the economy and society as a whole. While chatbots and automation offer many benefits in terms of efficiency and cost savings, it is important to consider their potential impact on human workers and to take steps to mitigate their negative effects. By focusing on retraining and upskilling workers, promoting the development of new industries and job opportunities, and implementing policies that promote economic stability and reduce income inequality, we can help to ensure that the benefits of automation are shared equitably and that the workforce remains strong and resilient in the face of technological change. Thank you for watching this video on the battle for jobs, chat GPT versus the human workforce. We hope that you found this discussion informative and thought provoking. As we move forward into an increasingly automated world, it is important to continue to consider the impacts of chatbots and other forms of automation on the workforce, and to take steps to mitigate their negative effects. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos on the latest trends and developments in technology. Thank you again for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, and welcome to this video on the dark side of digital gold, cryptocurrencies environmental toll. In recent years, cryptocurrency has become a hot topic in the world of finance and technology. However, what many people may not realize is that the process of mining cryptocurrency can have a severe impact on the environment. In this video, we'll explore the causes, effects, problems to humans due to that, potential solutions, and other relevant sections to address the environmental toll of cryptocurrency. Part 1. Causes of the Environmental Toll of Cryptocurrency To understand the environmental toll of cryptocurrency, we must first understand how it is mined. Cryptocurrency mining involves solving complex mathematical algorithms to validate transactions on the blockchain. This process requires a significant amount of computational power, which is typically provided by specialized computers called mining rigs. The primary cause of the environmental toll of cryptocurrency is the amount of energy that is required to power these mining rigs. In fact, the Bitcoin network alone consumes more electricity than the entire country of Argentina. The energy consumption of the cryptocurrency industry continues to grow as more people mine and trade digital assets. Another cause of the environmental toll of cryptocurrency is the e-waste generated from discarded mining rigs. As mining becomes more competitive and requires more advanced equipment, older rigs become obsolete and are often discarded. These rigs often contain hazardous materials that can harm the environment if not disposed of properly. Due to these, in 2021, China's Inner Mongolia region, which is known for its abundant coal reserves, announced plans to crack down on cryptocurrency mining due to concerns about its high energy consumption and environmental impact. Part 2. Effects of the Environmental Toll of Cryptocurrency The environmental toll of cryptocurrency has several effects on the environment. The most significant impact is the carbon footprint of cryptocurrency mining. The electricity used to power mining rigs is often generated from non-renewable sources such as coal or natural gas, which releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This contributes to climate change and global warming, which can have severe consequences for the planet. Another effect of cryptocurrency mining is the depletion of natural resources. The production of mining rigs requires rare metals and minerals, which are often mined in environmentally sensitive areas. This can lead to deforestation, soil erosion, and other negative environmental impacts. In addition to these environmental impacts, cryptocurrency mining can also have social and economic effects on communities. In some areas, mining operations have led to land disputes, forced relocations, and other negative impacts on local communities. These social and economic impacts must also be considered when evaluating the environmental toll of cryptocurrency. For instance, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, a country that is rich in natural resources such as cobalt and copper, there are concerns about the environmental and social impacts of cryptocurrency mining. 
some mining operations have been accused of exploiting local communities and causing significant harm to the environment. Part 3, Problems to Humans Due to the Environmental Toll of Cryptocurrency The environmental toll of cryptocurrency also has several problems for humans. The first problem is the potential health effects of air pollution caused by non-renewable energy sources. Exposure to air pollution can cause respiratory problems, heart disease, and other health issues. The second problem is the displacement of indigenous communities and the destruction of their lands. As mining rigs require access to large amounts of electricity, mining operations often locate in rural areas where land is cheap. This can lead to the displacement of indigenous communities and the destruction of their lands. Finally, the energy consumption of cryptocurrency mining can also lead to higher electricity prices for consumers. As more energy is diverted to cryptocurrency mining, there is less available for other uses, which can drive up prices for households and businesses. Example of this is, in 2021, the Iranian government announced a ban on cryptocurrency mining due to concerns about its impact on the country's electricity grid. The demand for electricity from mining operations had led to blackouts in some regions, causing public outrage. Part 4, Solutions to Address the Environmental Toll of Cryptocurrency Fortunately, there are several potential solutions to address the environmental toll of cryptocurrency. One solution is to transition to renewable energy sources such as solar or wind power. This would reduce the carbon footprint of cryptocurrency mining and help to combat climate change. Another solution is to improve the efficiency of mining rigs. This can be achieved through the development of more advanced technology or through the use of more energy-efficient hardware. A third solution is to promote the recycling and responsible disposal of e-waste generated from mining rigs. This would help to reduce the environmental impact of discarded mining equipment and prevent hazardous materials from harming the environment. Regulations can also play a role in addressing the environmental toll of cryptocurrency. Governments can impose taxes on cryptocurrency mining operations that use non-renewable energy sources, incentivize the use of renewable energy sources, or impose environmental standards on mining equipment manufacturers. The use of alternative consensus algorithms can help reduce energy consumption. Proof of Stake (POS) is an alternative to the commonly used Proof of Work (POW) algorithm that requires less energy consumption. POS requires validators to hold a certain amount of cryptocurrency to validate transactions instead of solving complex mathematical problems that require high energy consumption. Example: Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, is moving to a POS consensus algorithm in 2021 which will significantly reduce its energy consumption compared to its previous POW algorithm. Example, Saluna, a renewable energy company, is building a wind farm in Morocco to power its cryptocurrency mining operations. The wind farm will generate 900 megawatts of electricity, with some of it being used for mining and the rest being sold to the local power grid. Investors can also play a role in promoting environmentally responsible practices in the cryptocurrency industry. By investing in companies that prioritize sustainability and environmental responsibility, investors can help to encourage the adoption of sustainable practices in the industry. Finally, it is essential to discuss the role of individual action in addressing the environmental toll of cryptocurrency. While governments, investors, and companies can play a significant role in promoting sustainability in the industry, individuals can also take action. This can include reducing their own energy consumption, supporting sustainable investments, and advocating for environmental responsibility in the cryptocurrency industry. For instance, in 2021, the cryptocurrency exchange Gemini announced that it would purchase carbon credits to offset the carbon emissions generated by its Bitcoin holdings. This was seen as a significant step towards promoting sustainability in the cryptocurrency industry. Conclusion In conclusion, the environmental toll of cryptocurrency is a significant issue that must be addressed. The energy consumption of mining operations, the e-waste generated by discarded equipment, and the social and economic impacts of mining must all be considered when evaluating the environmental impact of cryptocurrency. Fortunately, there are several potential solutions to address this issue, including the use of renewable energy sources, the improvement of mining rig efficiency, and the promotion of responsible recycling and disposal of e-waste. By working together, we can create a sustainable and environmentally responsible cryptocurrency industry that benefits everyone. We hope that this video has provided you with valuable insights into this topic, and we encourage you to share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on trending topics. Hello, and welcome to this video on the GMO debate, how genetic engineering is changing our food forever. Genetic engineering, also known as genetically modified organisms, GMOs, 
has been a controversial topic in the food industry for many years. In this video, we'll explore the benefits and risks of GMOs, the impact they're having on our food supply, and the debates that surround their use. Part 1. What are GMOs and how do they work? GMOs are organisms whose genetic material has been altered in a way that does not occur naturally through mating or natural recombination. Genetic engineering techniques are used to introduce new traits or characteristics into plants or animals that are not naturally found in them. These techniques involve the manipulation of the organism's DNA, the genetic material that determines the organism's characteristics. There are a number of techniques that can be used to genetically modify organisms, including gene editing, gene silencing, and gene insertion. Gene editing involves making precise changes to an organism's DNA using molecular tools, such as CRISPR-Cas9. Gene silencing involves suppressing or turning off certain genes, while gene insertion involves adding new genes to an organism's DNA. One example of a genetically modified crop is Bt cotton, which has been genetically modified to produce a protein that is toxic to certain pests, reducing the need for chemical pesticides. Another example is golden rice, which has been genetically modified to produce beta-carotene, a precursor to vitamin A. This has the potential to address vitamin A deficiency, which is a major public health problem in developing countries. Part 2. The Benefits of GMOs while GMOs have been the subject of controversy, they also offer a number of benefits that cannot be overlooked. One of the main benefits of GMOs is increased crop yields. By introducing traits that make plants more resistant to pests, diseases, and environmental stresses, genetic engineering can help farmers grow more food on the same amount of land. Another benefit of GMOs is improved resistance to pests and diseases. By introducing genes that make crops resistant to specific pests or diseases, genetic engineering can reduce the need for chemical pesticides and herbicides. This can benefit both farmers and consumers, as it can reduce the cost of production and potentially reduce the risk of exposure to harmful chemicals. GMOs can also be engineered to have improved nutritional content, such as higher levels of vitamins or essential amino acids. This can have important public health implications, particularly in developing countries where malnutrition is a major problem. Part 3. The Risks of GMOs Despite the potential benefits of GMOs, they also come with some risks that cannot be ignored. One of the main concerns is the potential health risks to humans and animals. While the safety of GMOs has been extensively studied, some studies have suggested that GMOs may have harmful effects on human health. For example, a study in rats found that consumption of genetically modified corn was associated with an increased risk of developing tumors. Another concern is the impact of GMOs on biodiversity. By introducing new genes into an ecosystem, genetic engineering can potentially disrupt natural systems and lead to unintended consequences. For example, genetically modified crops that are resistant to certain pests or diseases may become dominant in an ecosystem, leading to a loss of biodiversity. There are also concerns over the long-term effects of GMOs on the environment. For example, Genetic engineering can potentially lead to the development of superweeds or superbugs that are resistant to herbicides or pesticides. This can lead to increased use of these chemicals, which can have negative environmental impacts, such as pollution and harm to non-target organisms. Part 4. The Controversies Surrounding GMOs The use of GMOs has been the subject of much controversy, with proponents and opponents voicing strong opinions. One of the main controversies is the labeling of GMOs. While many consumers want to know if the food they're buying contains GMOs, there is no federal requirement in the U.S. to label GMOs. This has led to a patchwork of state laws and voluntary labeling initiatives by food companies. Another controversy is the role of GMOs in agriculture. While proponents argue that GMOs can help feed a growing global population, opponents argue that GMOs are contributing to the consolidation of the food industry and the loss of small farms. Some also argue that GMOs are contributing to the use of monoculture, which can have negative impacts on soil health and biodiversity. Part 5. Case Studies To Better Understand The Impact Of GMOs, Let's Take A Look At Some Case Studies. Case Study 1. Bt Cotton In India Bt cotton was introduced in India in the early 2000s and quickly became popular among farmers due to its resistance to the bollworm pest. However, the success of Bt cotton has been mixed. While some farmers have seen increased yields and reduced pesticide use, others have struggled with poor yields and high costs associated with purchasing Bt cotton seeds. There have also been concerns over the impact of Bt cotton on soil health and biodiversity. Case Study 2. Golden Rice in the Philippines Golden rice was developed to address vitamin A deficiency, which is a major public health problem in developing countries. 
While golden rice has been shown to be effective at increasing vitamin A levels in rats, it is yet to be widely adopted in the Philippines, where it was first introduced. Some have argued that the slow adoption of golden rice is due to concerns over the safety and efficacy of GMOs, while others point to the complex social and economic factors that influence food choices in developing countries. Case Study 3, Herbicide-Resistant Crops in the U.S. Herbicide-resistant crops, such as Roundup Ready soybeans, have become widely adopted in the U.S. While these crops have reduced the need for herbicides and improved weed control, they have also led to the development of herbicide-resistant weeds, which can be difficult and costly to control. This has led to an increase in herbicide use and has raised concerns over the long-term impacts of herbicide use on soil health and biodiversity. Part 6, Conclusion In conclusion, the GMO debate is complex and multifaceted, with strong opinions on both sides. While GMOs offer a number of potential benefits, such as increased crop yields and improved nutritional content, they also come with risks, such as potential health effects and negative impacts on biodiversity and the environment. As the use of GMOs continues to grow, it's important that we carefully consider both the benefits and risks and work to address the challenges that come with their use. Thank you for watching our discussion on the GMO debate and how genetic engineering is changing our food forever. We hope that this video has provided you with a better understanding of the complex issues surrounding GMOs and the potential benefits and risks they offer. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more thought-provoking content, and we'll see you in the next video.